I'm 15 years old, and I have osteogenesis imperfecta, a rare incurable genetic disorder that makes my bones fragile. I was born with almost 40 fractures. You name it, I broke it. 15 years, though, and 130 fractures later, I've realized that my purpose is bigger than my pain, and my ambition is stronger than my adversity. What am I trying to say? Disabilities are not definitions. Mine doesn't stop me from reaching my full potential. It's just giving me a different perspective on life. That's why I always tell everyone that I've dissed my disability. And hey, I know I can't do things the same way as everyone else. I mean, my parents have to lift me in and out of bed every day or when I go up the stairs at my friends' houses but I just had to find what works for me and find how I can shine my light, what helps me cope. And for me, that was none other than music. And not only has singing, songwriting, and rapping helped me cope with my bad days, but it lets me share my feelings with everyone who might resonate with my story. In fact, when I started putting some of my covers up on YouTube, People from all over the world would send me messages that they were inspired by my music. In fact, someone once messaged me saying that she was at such a low point in her life and she felt so worthless that she was planning to take her own life. But seeing my videos and hearing my story inspired her to turn her whole life around and keep fighting. Isn't that amazing? So now, after finding that purpose, I now use my platform to inspire and encourage others to embrace who they are and to unleash their potential. I may have broken many bones, but I know that the two things that will never break in my life are my voice and my spirit. I'm Sparsh. I'm 15 years old. I'm a singer songwriter, rapper, and inspirational speaker from New Jersey. I have a great life, a great friends and family, and an amazingly cute little brother who I love dearly. And I am not defined by my disability. I am defined by the terms that I give myself. So how do you define yourselves? Thank you, Ede.